So I'd like to make a little tutorial showing you how to go through the process of making this assignment where you create a vocabulary chart using Kidspiration. As you can see, I'm in our course right now, and I'm just going to show you how you first download Kidspiration. I'm going to select the Assignments tab. And you can see as I go in, I'm going to pick Projects, because that's what this is. And there's our project number one, vocabulary chart with Kidspiration. As I select this link, you'll see going down the side here, I have several different choices of options here. One of the first choices I want you to pick is either option two or three. This is the download for Kidspiration. Option two is for Windows and option three is for Mac. I know it's a little difficult to see, but you can see the W for Windows or the M for Mac. After you download that program, the next step is to install that. And I'm not going to go through that right now. If you need help with that, uh, please let me know through an email or by phone call. So I've got this program installed now. Let's go ahead and look at the assignment for a second. It says, as you can see, you're going to be working on building a vocabulary chart using at least 20 terms. And those include any images, text, or other objects that you want that support the vocabulary words. The key elements here is that you're going to have a sentence that uses a con that contextualizes the vocabulary word as well as an image to display the word. Very similar to the things that you've talked about in your teaching and learning class, this will give us an idea of how the students can visualize the word as well as start working on uh, word recognition and uh, putting that word into a sentence. So if you need help with the state core, you can see that number six in our assignment is a link to the state core curriculum. Uh, the link that I'm, I'm going to just replicate what I did in class the other day, but I'm going to be using an assignment where I have the kids work on vocabulary words about themselves. And that's found in the Utah core vocabulary under m many of the different grade levels. In this particular assignment, I want you to focus in on some of the younger grades, specifically K through 3. Okay, well let's go in, and I'm going to click on Kidspiration, and we're going to get started with our little project here. We'll just turn down the volume on that, otherwise it will talk the whole time I'm doing my tutorial. You can see that you've got several different options here. We're going to go into the picture view. And the basic idea behind Kidspiration is that it's a mapping program. So for your subject, whatever your topic is for your uh, vocabulary chart, you're going to use that in the center. In this instance, I'm going to make a vocabulary chart about my, me. So I'm going to call this one All About Me. So I'll just go in and delete the text first and type in My Topic. Now that's really small, so I've got a couple choices here. I can first expand the size of the box just by clicking on it and using the little controls in the corners of the box to make the um, center bubble a lot bigger. My text is still pretty small, so I'm going to select my text just by highlighting it. And you can see down here at the proper, or at the bottom of my screen is a properties bar where I can select different sizes, colors, and fonts. So I'm going to make this quite a bit larger. Okay, And I'm going to pick a different font just for right now. I'm just going to go through those and find one that I like. So we're well on our way to our vocabulary chart. So here's my topic, and now I'm going to need to have 20 different words that tell you all about me. Um, to make this a little bit more fun, I'm going to break it into four subcategories. So I'm going to first select my main idea, and you can see down here in the properties bar again, I have the option to add subcategories. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to add a subcategory, and maybe this one, I'm going to say this is my hobbies. Okay. And I'm going to do this again. I'll click on the main idea and add a subcategory. And up here, we're going to have where I talk about my family. Okay. So you get the idea. I go through and I can click on those and I can drag those around, move those in whatever order I want. Okay. Now I would go through and, like I said, I would make several of these. In each one of these categories, though, this is where I'll come up with my vocabulary words. So let's do one right now. I'll show you how to do this. Now, the subtopic has become my main idea for this area, right? We're talking about my family. So I'm going to make another bubble that comes off of this, and this is where I'll write my sentence. And again, I'm going to use sentences that deal with my family using vocabulary word that's age appropriate. So in this one, I'm going to use the word mother as my vocabulary word. So my mother cooks dinner. And that's my sentence. Now again, we're talking about grades K through 3, so this is age-appropriate vocabulary. One of the things that I want you to do as you create these assignments is to identify clearly the vocabulary word that you are having the kids work on. So I'm going to highlight that word, and you can see there's a couple of different options that I could do with this. I can either underline it, or 
I'm going to change the color of the word so that I can clearly identify that's the vocabulary word. You can see now my mother cooks dinner is very identifiable. If that text is a little big, you remember that we can highlight that text and we can change the size of that so that we can make it a little smaller. The last step in each of the vocabulary words is that you want to go in and identify a picture that deals with the vocabulary word. So in this case, I need a picture of a mother. I'm going to come down into the find window here and I'm just going to type in mother. And there's a bunch of pictures of mom. So watch how easy this is to get a picture of a mom associated with my word bubble here. First thing I'm going to do is select the word box, right, so that I get that one highlighted. And then I'll come over and find the picture of mom that I want to use and just click on it. And you can see that it identifies the picture with the sentence. So that's pretty well the structure of building your vocabulary chart. As you go through this, remember you're, you're supposed to have 20 different words, a sentence for each of the vocabulary words where you use the vocabulary word in context, a picture of the vocabulary word, and then this all goes into one big vocabulary chart. Now as you finish this assignment up, you can see that I'm going to go up and do a file save. And this will save as what's known as a Kidspiration document or a .kid. I'll just save that out to my desktop and that's fine I've already got one out there so I'll just replace that one but as this document gets saved let's just go through the final step here which is to send it back into my vocab my assignment here so you can see I'm going to come into my submission window and I just like you to type in your submission window my assignment uh, just a little paragraph about your assignment my assignment is all about me Oops. from the first grade core. I don't expect you to put a lot of information in, but just give me an idea of what your theme is for your assignment. And then the last step is to attach the actual assignment. So I'll add the attachment. And you can see as this loads, the, the browser should give me a place where I can add my file. Now right now I'm not seeing a little icon, but you should see something there that says my computer. So I've clicked on that, even though you couldn't see the picture, it's there. Now I can upload my files. And I'll just go out and browse to the desktop and find my project and submit that. So I'll go down and say OK to that. And when this is done, you should see that the All About Me file is located in the attachments area. And then I will submit that assignment. Well, that's it in a nutshell. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Remember, there's several tutorials that can help you with Kidspiration. Even down our left-hand side of the assignment in, in um, you online, you can see I've listed a tutorial as well as a handout that you can have. And this video, as you should have found, is going to be on uh, the course Weebly page. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me.